This is round two of the uh, drain pan uh, mod for the Langmuir CNC plasma cutter. Uh, hopefully it's going to be the last round. But uh, on the first round, we talked about using a dimple, uh, dimple die to try and correct the problem that we're seeing here. When the pan is shipped, uh, you can see there's about a little less than an eighth of an inch gap. But that's the amount of water that stays in the pan when the... Uh, in the current drain design. All right, so in in the Mod 1, we used a dimple die, uh, just a standard dimple die that's typically used for strengthening sheet metal. Uh, when you remove some weight by drilling holes, then you dimple die the sheet metal. And in some cases, it just basically looks cool. So the, the problem with this dimple die um, for our uh, pan use is the end result of that is a conical shape and you can see in the, in the pan this is my pan that I use that mod one dimple die on and you can see the conical shape uh, end result here's the top surface and here is the the bottom surface and you can see the problem with that is the ceiling edge there is a, is a sharp ceiling edge and so it's not very good for uh, maintaining uh, a good seal. Um, the, and the other problem is when you use a dimple die, regardless of the dimple die design, you're going to enlarge the hole. And you can see here that we don't have a lot on that ceiling edge, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch. Uh, and so if that hole grows too large, then uh, obviously your, the edge that you have the seal against is, uh, is diminished quite a bit. So um, we're gonna talk about the dimple die uh, that mod that I've done to try and uh, reduce the conical shape, but there's not a whole lot we can do about the enlargement of that hole. So here is the dimple die uh, mod one. And part of the issue you can see is this edge, if you depress this dimple die down into the, uh, or the punch down into the die uh, too far, that edge then grows quite a bit. And so you're losing the uh, sealing surface. And again, uh, the, these type of dimple dies really aren't made to provide you a good sealing surface. They're made to, uh, you know, strengthen sheet metal. So uh, I'd recommend that, uh, you know, this dimple die is going around, some people on the forum are already using it. I'd recommend highly that when you use this, you don't turn it down hard. You turn it down a little bit and then you know, back it off, look at it, uh, measure it to your drain, and uh, you know, don't go too far, otherwise that hole could grow too large and be a little bit of a problem. So as I mentioned, uh, mod two, uh, we can't really do a whole lot for um, the hole growth. But you can see here in Mod 2, the comparison, uh, I've greatly reduced the amount here uh, that can be depressed. Uh, and I've, I've changed the angle and I've limited to how far it can go. The, uh, this will constrain um, the, the hole growth, hopefully. And uh, you'll see in the demo that it leaves a flat surface instead of a conical surface. Um, we're, uh, I've constrained this to be about uh, an eighth of an inch, uh, 0.125, or in metric, that's uh, about 3.175 millimeters. And uh, so before I, I demo the Mod 2, there are a couple things I want to point out. The pans that they give us are 20 gauge stainless steel, which is nominally about 37 thousandths uh, or uh, 0.9525 millimeters. So when I designed the die, I used a thickness of steel of uh, 39 thousandths, or about one millimeter. Uh, so it's a little bit of clearance in there, but it didn't seem to make that much difference. The other thing I wanted to point out is when I measured the OD uh, of the die, it, it was about one inch. And so I designed the nose of the punch to be what the, the, uh, the drain was. And unfortunately, the pans are actually, the hole in the pans that they provide are actually a little bit bigger than that. So when my intent was to try and make the uh, dimple die self-centering, um, it, it's not. 
and you'll have to physically try and make sure uh, that when you use that, that um, uh, you you just try and center. It'll self-center somewhat, but then you'll have to make the, the final modification or final centering uh, just by eye. And then finally, I don't have any 20 gauge stainless steel. Uh, and so I'm going to use for the demo a piece of 18 gauge aluminum. Uh, obviously, I understand that the uh, uh, aluminum will depress uh, easier than stainless, but I'm pretty confident that the Mod 2 will work on the pans too. So the 18 gauge aluminum is uh, about uh, 40 thousandths or uh, you know, 1.024 millimeters. And I'm gonna use that now uh, on the demo. So here is the, the Mod 2 design. You can see it's uh, quite a bit less of an angle and uh, I'm going to just take this piece of 18 gauge aluminum and we're gonna see how that works. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use a torque wrench on this, not because it's required. I would just like to get an idea and I haven't done this yet uh, to see what kind of torque it takes uh, on aluminum, and I wish I had a piece of uh, stainless to try, but uh, regardless, we're gonna, we're gonna see what it, so when it comes to a stop and it doesn't feel like it's depressing anymore, we're gonna kind of see what the torque was that required to get to that point. Okay, looks like we're somewhere around 60 foot-pounds of uh, torque. And let's now back off on that. See what this looks like. Okay, the end result, as you can see, is quite a bit different than what we're seeing in our drain pans. Uh, here's the conical shape dimple die. Uh, here's the new Mod 2 design. And so uh, that flat surface is really the, the desire what we're after uh, because we would like the flat surface then of the drain to sit flat on that. You can see that we've uh, met the requirement to uh, depress that below the surface so we'll get a good drain. In fact, that's even farther than you actually would need. Uh, regardless, uh, that's, that's what we're after. Finally, uh, if you remember, uh, this, this hole was about one inch, but I think it was about one inch, 16 thousandths. And so now we're gonna see what the hole growth is. And we're somewhere, you know, uh, approaching almost maybe uh, 80, 90 thousandths more than, uh, than it was originally. So that's the whole growth that there's really no way to get around, uh, but um, at least we're now no longer having to try and seal against that conical shape. So I think Mod 2 is, a, is an improvement. Um, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, I don't need this, my pans are done. So if someone would like to use this, uh, when folks on the forum, more than happy to, to send it out. I'm only asking that you reimburse me for shipping costs. The Mod 1 was bigger, heavier, a longer bolt, and it cost about eight bucks to ship that thing. I'm hoping that this thing now, a little bit smaller, uh, we can ship it around for hopefully something around five bucks or so. But uh, if you're interested, uh, let me know and uh, I'll get it shipped out. The uh, last thing I also want to talk about is in the Mod 1 video, I talked about the fact that I increased the hole size in the drain from a uh, quarter inch to three eighths. It, it's actually a, quite a pain. I had a, a lathe that I put it in. I had a, uh, um, a, you know, was able to make the taper, had a tapered reamer to match the, the, the pipe tape, uh, pipe taper. Uh, and even that, uh, I had a hard time holding it without it spinning. So I'm thinking that I may actually uh, do new drains, make new uh, drain plugs for this uh, in a little bit larger. I'll probably go with a finer thread, but I'll make these so that they're, it's a half inch pipe thread instead of uh, the three eighths. 
I'm going to try that and see if I can turn those without any problem and cut the threads. Uh, if I go to finer threads, I'm going to have to go with a different uh, nut that on the back side. But um, I'm going to see if that works. If that works and people are interested in something like that, uh, then we can figure out how we can provide those to you as well. Okay, thanks from DNN Custom Creations. I wanted to give an update. Um, I was not happy with my conical shape of my drain plug, so I put the thing into my uh, press, and I pressed it back flat again, um, and then I used the new Mod 2 on that same hole. Now, it's, that's less than optimum because uh, it's been cold work now a couple of times, uh, but regardless, uh, the new punch did take that existing uh, hole that was already cold worked and create a hole that now has that flat. So I'm happy with the result. Uh, I've done it to both pans now. Uh, they turned out okay. So I guess in, in what we could do, if people have used the Mod 1 and created the, the conical shape and are not happy with it, they could flatten it back out and use Mod 2 and uh, probably get back to where we were all ultimately trying to go. Okay, thanks.